the August Stakes is next, and we've got a field of 14 for this one. Over a mile and five furlongs, just a 0 to 90 handicap at the top. Land of Promise, Joshua Sutherland, One True Faith, Leon Van Rinsburg, Shield Maiden, Stu Gray, Carbon Fibre, Paul Rhodes, National Guard, Obi Wan, Marley Turan, CDJ Liggett, Lakota Sally, and Lakota Enzyme for Patrick Hogan, Crystal Clear, Obi Wan. Cullerhill Jacko, Satyam Sandra Sagarin, Lion Star, Alex Cherry, Rings of Kitty, Stu Gray, River Martin Leadham, and Stick Quid, Thomas Rogers. So 14 then. The rain stopped. And away we go. A little bit slow out with Shield Maiden, so watch that one burst through and take it up in a minute. As they sort themselves out through the first furlong. And there you go. As per normal. The horse that slowly away ends up in the lead. Crystal Clear on the inside is second. Then Carbon Fibre is next. And then Land of Promise after that one. Bit of a gap back to Rings of Kitty and Cullil Jacko. Ripver, the one widest on the track. Then Lakota Enzymes after that with Lakota Sally. Also with them looking towards the back. Lion Star and Stick Quid while the two are sharing last place at the moment. But Crystal Clear on the inside is just about a head or a neck in front of Shield Maiden in second. Carbon Fibre is back in third. Then comes the Grey National Guard fourth with over on the far rail Land of Promise after that one. Then Rings of Kitty is next. And there's a line of about eight of them chasing them. And then Stick Quid and Lion Star at the back. But it's Crystal Clear and Shield Maiden who are disputing the lead from Carbon Fibre in third. Then comes National Garden, Land of Promise, Rings of Kitty is after that one, Cully Hill, Jacko is next, then Marley Turan on the Cota Enzyme, Ritva still the widest on the track, they've got seven furlongs still to go, Crystal Clear by about half a length, Do Shield Maiden in second, National Guard is third, then Carbon Fibre fourth and Lands of Promise, and Rings of Kitty, Cully Hill, Jacko is getting closer, but it's still Crystal Clear and Shield Maiden in with six furlongs to go, who are disputing the lead as we peer through some trees and National Guard is third, Collier Jacko on the inside is fourth, then Lakota ends on, Ritva is next and then a little bit of a gap to One True Faith getting the first mention, Carbon Fibre, Stick Quid has made a forward move, Lakota Sally is the one who's dropped out the back but Shield Maiden has now dropped away and Crystal Clear left on its own in the lead but being immediately collared now by Lakota Enzyme in second, One True Faith, the Leon Van Rensburg horses crept through into third then comes Ritva, Rings a Kitty now bursting through to challenge as well as Shield Maiden tries to get back into it as well but it's Lakota Lakota Enzyme and Rings of Kitty, two and a half to go. Lakota Enzyme on the rail in the lead from Rings of Kitty in second. Shield Maiden, then Ritva and One True Faith. Carbon Fiber is now starting to get going as well, but it's Lakota Enzyme who's in the lead from Rings of Kitty, One True Faith and Ritva. But it's this leader is Lakota Enzyme. There's a furlong to go. He's still too clear. Now Rings of Kitty, One True Faith. Ritva trying to come through with a challenge. Also finishing well is National Guard, but they're racing inside the final half furlong. Now the one that's absolutely flying is the Grey National Guard. And National Guard might be going to get up to take it. I think it's going to be close. Lakota Enzyme hangs on. Lakota Enzyme all on. Stick Quid was another one that finished like an absolute rocket on the outside. And one or two of those jockeys, I think, will be getting a fling in their ear for leaving their runs a little bit too late. Lakota Enzyme hangs on to take it for. Padraig Hogan, National Guard for Obi-Wan and Lucky in second. Stick Quid for Thomas Rogers, likewise in third. Then Lion Star was fourth for Alex Cherry. And Shield Maiden for Stu Gray was fifth. <laughs> 